Hello, in this screencast we're going to look at how to calculate the angle of attack or the blade angle based on the aircraft velocity and the propeller RPM. So uh, we'll do it by example. So let's assume we have a propeller and let's assume the uh, airfoil section is an Epler E856 and that the aircraft is cruising at 100 meters per second the propeller diameter is two meters and the propeller is rotating at 2700 rpm and the master station is going to be at 75 percent of the radius and we're going to make an assumption that the propeller efficiency is 80 percent which is a fair enough uh, assumption i think and we're going to find what the blade angle should be okay so the first thing if you go to airfoil uh, dot com you can look up the epler um, airfoil and you can get some graphs like this and what i'm interested in is the lift to drag ratio and i see from this graph that the lift to drag ratio is at a maximum at 8.5 degrees roughly 8.5 degrees okay so we want the propeller to be operating at maximum lift to drag so we would want uh, alpha here is angle of attack. We'd want an, an angle of attack of about 8.5 degrees. Okay, so if you can uh, memorize that, 8.5 degrees for the uh, angle of attack. Right, so here's our prop. And using the momentum theorem, and I've, I've gone through this in a, another video, and I'll put a link down below in the description. So as the air comes in, you know, it, it, it speeds up. Um, you know the the air we assume it going through this this tunnel type uh, converging tunnel so the air speeds up by a factor uh, a here which we call the inflow factor and from that that video on, on momentum theorem um, the inflow factor a can be calculated from the propeller uh, efficiency so uh, if we just transpose that equation and substitute in the values so we had said uh, we were going to make the assumption the propeller was 80 percent efficient so when i plug that value in i get an inflow factor of 0.25 so the velocity of the air uh, here right at the propeller blade is going to be uh, the 100 meters per second plus 1.25 due to the inflow factor, which is 125 meters per second. Okay, so let's park that value for, uh, for a second also. The master station is at 75% of radius, and, and the master station is where all the blade angles uh, are, are measured from. So I want to get the velocity of the blade in the vertical plane at that point. So first I want to give about omega. So omega is the uh, rotational speed in radians per second. So we take the 2,700 revs per minute to bring that to per second to divide by 60. And to bring it to radians, we multiply by 2 pi. So we get omega is equal to 282.7 radians per second. The velocity here, so this velocity in the vertical plane is equal to omega r. So it's going to be 282.7 times the radius. Okay, so we were told the propeller had a diameter of two meters. Um, so if we're looking at the radius, it's going to be two divided by two, and then we're going to get 75% of that uh, at the master station. So when I multiply that out, I get VR is equal to 212 uh, meters per second. Okay, so I'm going to take this air file shape uh, over here and I just... Um, that's what it is at the tip, uh, but let's assume it's it's it'll be a little slightly larger angle there at the master station. So let's say that's that's the, the blade angle here. So we have the two one two uh, based on the vertical um, velocity and one hundred twenty five on the the horizontal velocity. So if I want to get the resultant flow or the relative airflow over the over the blade it's going to be the vector sum of both of those. So it's going to be um, V0 squared plus VR squared, which is 125 squared plus 212 squared, which is 246 meters per second. So this velocity here is 246 meters per second. Now this angle here, 
is known as the helix angle or the angle of advance. And uh, from trigonometry, I can see that uh, this angle is the inverse tan of opposite over adjacent, which is the inverse tan of 125 over 212, and that works out to be 30.5 degrees. So that's the helix angle or angle of advance, sometimes it's known as. This angle here is the blade angle. It's the angle between the chord line and the um, plane of rotation. And this angle here is the angle of attack, and it's the angle between the chord line and the relative airflow. So in this example, um, I wanted to work out what the blade angle would be. But if I have the blade angle and I have the angle of advance, I can work out what the angle of attack is. Or if I have the angle of advance or helix angle and I have the angle of attack, I can work out what the blade angle is. So uh, in this example, um, I wanted to have the propeller at its most efficient. So when the angle of attack was at 8.5 degrees, so this angle here is going to be 8.5. Maybe just put that in with a pen here. Uh, so we're going to say that there is 8.5. And we know that this one here, we just calculated that to be 30.5. So the blade angle is going to be the angle of attack plus the helix angle, which is 8.5, yeah, 8.5 plus 30.5, which is 39 degrees. And I hope that is of some use to you.